A few weeks ago, a friend of mine bought a second-hand marine aquarium. The aquarium was generally in very good condition, but after filling it with water, it turned out to have small scratches. That's why he asked me a question how to take care of tank as a water container. And I must admi admit that the question surprised me at first, uh, because I never really thought about it. It also became an impulse to show today's episode, so if you are interested in how to take care of the glass itself, I invite you to watch today's film. The greatest benefit of marine or freshwater aquaristics is the possibility to watch aquatic life such as fish, plants or invertebrates. Uh, we can do this because the tank is made of transparent material, usually glass, which allows us to look deep into the aquarium practically without any distortions. However, in order to enjoy the aquarium and observe what is growing inside, we have to make sure its glass is clean, otherwise the experience will resemble watching the world through fogged glasses. If we are talking about a cleaning glass from outside, the problem is relatively simple. To get rid of finger smudges, dust or salt deposits, all you need is an ordinary paper towel and, for example, a mirror cleaner. The important thing, however, is not to spray the agent directly onto the glass. Uh, windows cleaners contain ammonia and many other chemical compounds that absolutely cannot get, get into the water uh, in aquarium. This is why I always spray it on the paper towel away from the aquarium and only then I come to clean the glass uh, from outside. <music> Cleaning aquarium glass from the wet side is much more challenging. From the perspective of aquarium life, the glass is the same substrate as sand or rock, and any unoccupied place in the aquarium will be attractive for quickly multiplying organisms such as algae, bacteria or protozoa. These organisms form a thin film on the glass, which becomes thicker every day, making the glass more and more foggy. Unfortunately, these, this organic sludge cannot be blown off by a strong uh, stream of water, for example by a wave maker, and in fact, the organic sediment develops faster in spots with stronger water currents. So what should we do then? Well, we must somehow scrape this so-called biological film off the glass without damaging the glass. And that's what special scrapers are for. The symbols of these are handles with uh, razor blades or trapezoidal blade scrapers. Unfortunately, such scrapers require putting hands into the aquarium. An additional disadvantage is that blades are made of high carbon steel, which corrodes uh, uh, very easily, hence need for frequent, uh, frequent replacements. But in my opinion, they are probably the most uh, um, effective because of the sharp edges and the pointy corners. Sometimes the handles come with a very long stick, but they are not easy to operate and you have to be very careful, otherwise you can damage your corals. The second type of uh, cleaning scrapers are popular magnet cleaners. The biggest advantage is that cleaning uh, the glass does not require putting your hands into the aquarium, not every time at least. Uh, such scrapers consist of two parts containing very strong magnets that attract each other from both sides of the glass. You operate the outer part, holding the outer part, uh, directing the inner part uh, to dirty places. Some cleaners have a rough surface that uh, scratch the algae of the glass, while others have a single blade instead. And in my opinion, the best are those with uh, minimal contact with the glass, and they usually have the uh, three points of contact, which is the stainless steel blade and two feet. This ensures that the blade um, uh, is pressed quite strongly against the glass. Due to the way how we should use the 
uh, scrapers, I practically rule out situations in which a metal blade draws the glass. This is because it's, uh, it, it is entire blade plane that has contact with the glass, not just its sharp points. In the vast majority of cases, it is the sand getting under the blade that is responsible for the formation of scratches on the aquarium glass. The grains of sand are hard enough to cause scratch when dragged across the glass. The scratch is an oblong loss of glass and some uh, of them can be so shallow that you can't even feel them with your nail and other may be so deep that the loss of glass is easily palpable. Furthermore, some scratches can be often completely invisible in an empty and dry aquarium. They do appear only after the water is poured in and the light is turned on, so keep that in mind when you buy a second-hand tank. Remember also that to make a scratch, a grain of sand does not have to be large or even easily visible. All it takes is a microscopic little piece that gets stuck under the cleaning blade. Such particles are often lifted up by strong circulation. For example, when we move the sand during the cleaning of the uh, lower edge of the glass. Often, such tiny sand crystals can get stuck among hair algae developing in the corners of the aquarium, which are usually difficult to clean. So now, let's have a look how easily it is to make scratch on the glass. We have a piece of glass with a little sand on it. The cleaner touches the glass in three points. The scratch is usually made when the cleaner is moving backward, not forward. When you move the cleaner forward, the blade doesn't press but pushes the sand particles away from the glass without any damage. However, when going backwards, the angle of the blade presses any grains of sand against the glass and creates scratches. First of all, we have to realize that the risk of glass scratches cannot be completely eliminated. However, we can minimize them by following a few simple rules. First of all, the cleaner must be washed regularly, algae growth and dirty blade is an additional risk of scratches. Cleaning, especially in hard to reach places, is quite a delicate process and should not be performed by an amateur. So I always hide the scraper, for example, during my vacation, so that it does not tempt anyone to clean around and generally, I do not allow my family to clean the tank. I never clean the glass when the water is disturbed to prevent sand grains from being drawn under the blade. If the sand is moved, I stop cleaning until it settles to the bottom. The circulation pumps should be set to low speed. Cleaning movements should not be chaotic. I always move the cleaner forward on the dirty part and backwards on the clean one. Where possible, I try not to reach the silicone seams in the corners and I clean them with vertical movements instead. By the way, when cleaning corners, I avoid cutting the silicone in order not to weaken the seams. I don't clean hard to reach places on a daily basis, especially in corners with sandy bottoms. I take care of them less often, usually every week or two. Places that are more dirty or overgrown with, for example, coralline algae, I clean by hand with a razor blade because I can do it more carefully. If for some reason I can't clean up something, I don't do it by force. I'm far less irritated by dirty glass than by scratched glass. The above rules will reduce the risk of visible scratches but if we have the same aquarium for, for a couple of years, we will probably sooner or later start to notice tiny scratches on the glass. I once talked about it with a person who worked in the glassworks for many years and then worked as a glazier. There are quite easy home methods of polishing dulled glass, but it is virtually impossible to remove deeper scratches completely. Just imagine that removing a crack 1 20th of a millimeter deep which is 50 micrometers, in reality means removing the glass of the same thickness on a sufficiently large surface around the scratch. This would require several hours of grinding of the glass surface with uh, an abrasive material, usually cerium oxide, 
which also carries the risk of tarnishing the glass, optical distortions and the formation of potentially dangerous glass dust. Assuming that we would have to empty the aquarium anyway, it would be probably faster and easier to replace the scratched glass. That's all for today. I hope that you liked the episode. If you have any questions, write to me here or on my blog reefhub.pl and subscribe to this channel because the next episode is coming soon. Stay healthy and take care.